You know, there's a lot of really great people out there helping other people with this spirituality. But sometimes there's difficulties when it comes to dealing with doubts. So in this short video, I'm going to show clearly how accepting spirit as the basis of life fits the facts, it's logical, and it's scientific. My name is Nemi, BV Nemi. I studied science at Oxford University. I've practiced for more than 45 years in Eastern wisdom traditions, Zen, the Vedic tradition. Now I'm a teacher of applied spiritual science. So how does accepting spirit fit the facts? Materialists say we're just material objects, material machines, but we do what matter can't do. We stand up, we walk, we jump, we climb mountains because they're there, and we make things that matter can't make. We make beautiful works of art, paintings, sculptures. We make machines, computers, video cameras, space shuttles. Matter can't make these things, it destroys them. We make information, masses of information. Matter can't make information, it destroys it. So we're not just material beings. The I, the conscious life force, is non-material. We're not just non-material, we're spiritual. How do we know? Because the I doesn't change with time. Matter is constantly changing. This body is changing. Every cell in the body is changing. The mind is changing. The personality is changing. But this I doesn't change. I am the same person as I was 70 odd years ago. I was 5, I was 10, I was 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. It's the same I. Something that doesn't change in time is eternal. And eternity is the quality of spirit. So we're non-material spiritual beings. That fits the facts. And the idea that we just matter doesn't fit the facts at all. It's a false idea. How's it logical to accept spirit? Well, if there's just matter and material laws everywhere, then there's no meaning anywhere. There's no meaning in life. There's no meaning in science. And there's no meaning in what the scientists say when they say there's no meaning. So their idea contradicts itself. Now, how can we say that it's scientific to accept spirit? Well, science means certain systematic knowledge. What can we know for sure systematically? First of all, point one, material science deals with matter and it deals with material laws, okay? Second point, material science is objective. It deals with objects, outside objects. Third point, Science doesn't happen by itself. Matter doesn't do science. Scientists, conscious scientists do science. In other words, the conscious subject, the conscious subject is doing material science. That's it. And the next point is that material science, it can't look at the conscious subject. It can't look at itself. Material science looks at objects, it looks at matter, and it can't look at the conscious subject who's doing science. So the conscious self, the conscious I, the, the subject, is operating, it's real, and it's outside the realm of matter and the material laws. So this is scientific. We can have a science of spirit and matter. So that's how we can see that accepting spirit as the basis of life, it fits the facts where the materialistic idea doesn't fit the facts. It's logical where the material idea is illogical and it's scientific. So there you are. I've got a lot more to share with you. If you're interested, click on the link. You get a great PDF that gives a lot more detail. It'll either blow your mind or it'll drive you crazy. It depends on how open and innovative you are. Anyway, I'm really happy to have shared with you. Please like this video, share it with others, and don't forget to click the link and get the PDF. Thanks for watching.